Hi, I'm Scott from Advantage Auto Service. A lot of you know that I'm an avid cyclist. I like to ride a lot of bicycles, and I'm also a car guy. Uh, so a lot of people often ask me about different kinds of bike racks and what I think, what I use, uh, how to install them. So today we're gonna do a quick little video to show you the different kind of bike racks we can find, uh, the ones that I recommend or would not recommend, and some of the reasons why. So the first rack we'll talk about today is a roof-mounted car rack. Uh, right here we have an example. I was nice enough to have a buddy let me borrow his car to do this video. Um, this is a roof-mounted rack that will secure the wheels here and here. And this also grabs it by the frame in the front here. Um, there are some that work off of just grabbing by the tire or a fork mount, which we may be able to show you later. Uh, notice one of the downfalls of this. I'm 6'1", and this is pretty high. So getting your bike up on the rack is tough. Uh, another downfall, you have to be very careful when you're pulling into a garage or low overhang. There's a lot of videos on YouTube of people causing a lot of damage to their bikes in their uh, garage doors, pulling into a garage and forgetting to take it off. Uh, advantages of it, it's not hanging off the back of the car. You don't have to worry about backing into something. You have all the access to the trunk or the, the rear hatch of your vehicle. Uh, it's not obstructed by the bike rack or the bike. Um, also, if people are walking around your car, they're not going to disturb the bike. So it does have some advantages and disadvantages, uh, but it is pretty high. So that's the roof mounted bike rack. Okay, so a much more common version of a bike rack other than a roof rack is going to be a rear mounted rack. This particular one is a, is a hitch rack, so it actually mounts in the trailer hitch, so it's not actually touching the back of the car. Um, they call this a tray style rack, so the bike sits on top of it, it doesn't hang from the center like that. This one grabs from the front tire, uh, as I mentioned on the, the roof rack, you can get a roof rack that mounts this way as well. Wraps around the back tire to hold it on there. They are nice and sturdy, I don't have it really tight. One of the downfalls, getting into the back of the car is hard. However, you can lower these, but if there's two bikes on it, it can get kind of heavy, but that'll lower out of the way. Uh, you can get these amount two or four bikes, but if you look at how far off it would be to hold a fourth bike, you've got a lot of clearance in the back. So these, the downfall would be, again, getting into the back, uh, backing the car up into something, or if somebody's walking around your car, they can play with your bike or do whatever they want with it. So this is a roof, a rear mounted rack that mounts in a hitch. So here's another uh, rear mounted carrier. Uh, again, this is a hitch rack, so it means it mounts into a trailer hitch. It doesn't mount on the vehicle. Um, it's nice because it doesn't have that overhead clearance issue you'll have out of a roof carrier, but you will have a challenge getting into the back of the car if it's an SUV. Uh, these, these do fold down, but they can get heavy with a lot of bikes on them. Uh, if you had a car with a trunk, you'd be all right getting in the back of that. Um, the way these work, the bike kind of sits over top of it. Most of the ones like this you'll see have two arms that stick out. This one just has a little bit of a different platform setup. Uh, either one will work. This one is set up for four bikes. Uh, I've seen these for anywhere from two to five bikes, but I will say um, you're gonna have a hard time maxing out the, the carrier. So in a four bike capacity, it is gonna be tight getting four bikes on there. The bikes will sway a lot, so you kinda have to bungee cord them together. The tires will spin, the handlebars are moved, so you do need to secure the bikes more than just from the top to make sure there's no damage. Um, I'm not a fan of how these attach. They just kind of strap right over the frame. Uh, I'm not fond of it myself. I've never heard a person have a problem yet, but I don't like the way it grabs the carbon fiber. And also the brake cables get kind of tied up underneath it. Just a, a preference of my own. Um, but again, a rear mounted carrier. It does mount into a hitch. Um, and they make these anywhere from two to five carriers. Oh, so uh, last thing, if you do have a female style bike um, or a cruiser that has the top tube on an angle or a mountain bike with suspension, it can be a pain to get these on top of it. It is tough to kind of wiggle yourself around. They do make an adapter that goes across the seat post to the handlebars, uh, so that is an option for you as well. Again, rear mounted carrier. Okay, so the next rack we're gonna talk about is also a rear mounted rack. This is a trunk style rack. This actual mount on the body of the car. Uh, you can use these on a sedan or a coupe or an SUV as well. My friend that let me borrow this rack for the demonstration uses this on a GMC Acadia. Uh, these mount with hooks over the top of the, in this case, the trunk, uh, in this case around the bottom. You pull these straps tight so it mounts securely. Uh, I would tie these up so they don't flap around in the wind. I just left them loose for this demonstration. Uh, again, the bike sits over top of these two posts. It'll rest here on the top of the frame. Uh, you, in this one, you cinch it tight with these straps. Again, if you have a, a, a woman style bike with a low bar or a mountain bike with suspension, it might be a pain to get it mounted up on top of this. Uh, you will have to tie this, the handlebars tight so the wheel's not flapping around like that. Uh, again, probably the whole bike because the bike will move around and you don't really want an expensive carbon frame bouncing around like that. Um, not my favorite, again, I don't like the way they strap over the carbon frame. Uh, the brake cable's underneath here so it's gonna get pushed into the frame a little bit and if it moves, it could scratch it. Um, 
Other than that, if you have an inexpensive bike, it is uh, the cheapest alternative actually to buy a style like this. Um, again, a rear mounted rack, this one being a trunk rack, it does mount to the body, potentially could scratch the body if you don't have it mounted properly. Uh, these are foam, but if they do move around a little bit, they probably will scratch over time. Again, rear mounted rack, and this is actually a trunk style rack. Okay, so the next kind of vehicle we're going to talk about is a pickup truck. Uh, pickup trucks have a ton of versatility. Um, this truck is a full four doors, and with a truck this size, I ride a 58 centimeter frame. I can actually fit it in the back seat with the seat folded up and the tire on it. So you might not want to put your mountain bike in there or a bike with dirty tires on it, but if you're just moving one bike around, it's a road bike and it's clean, uh, and you want to keep it away from the elements and secured, it's a great place to do it. Um, this also has a locking hard cover on it and a locking tailgate, so you can lay the bike down inside here, and again, nobody would even know it's there. Uh, you may want to lay something on the bottom because the bike is going to bounce around in there, uh, and you definitely want to put the drive side up, the gears and the derailleurs up. But a lot of different options in a pickup truck without any kind of bike rack as it is. Okay, so continuing with the pickup truck, like I said, there's a lot of versatility. There's all kinds of companies that make different kind of racks that'll mount inside the bed. Um, this does have a hitch. You can use any kind of hitch mounted rack. Uh, one thing I came up with, or I didn't actually come up with, I borrowed from a friend of mine, had this idea. Uh, mounting the bikes backwards, it makes them a lot easier to get to. So he just had a setup in here with some wood, which is really inexpensive, and some fork mounts. And in a case like this, I can actually get three bikes across the back. I just didn't put a third fork mount in. This whole setup here probably cost me $40. Um, they are lockable. And again, if you lock the tailgate, it's pretty safe to get in. Um, manufacturers make it so they have a cross brace that'll go across and will have fork mounts on it if you want to do that. But then if you mount it forwards, it's hard to reach over the side of the truck to get in. So that's why I went with this setup. And I've also got it set up on the side for my mountain bike, so I can put the mountain bike right across. This one has a setup for a through axle on it with an adapter or just a regular fork mount. So tons of versatility uh, to mount multiple bikes in the back. Again, this would be three bikes real easy. All right, so for a quick recap on the different kind of bike racks we have, we've got a roof mounted rack here. Uh, this is a tray style hitch rack, so the bike sits on top of it. Another great concept about this we talked about is um, if you have a weird frame geometry or you have any kind of suspension, these are great for that. Fit a lot of different size tires. Uh, this one here, we have a trunk mounted uh, rear rack. So this is gonna mount on the trunk, not from a hitch. And then lastly, all kinds of options in a pickup truck. These are just fork mounted racks with a two by six. Again, three bikes wide, uh, and it still gives you the option of having a truck mount if you uh, have to, uh, I'm sorry, a hitch rack. So if you have any questions about different kinds of ways to carry your bike, please give us an email, give us a call. Um, kind of handy, I can explain to you how I built this up there. Um, if you do have a car that does not have a hitch and you want to put a hitch mounted rack on it, we can always mount a hitch for you as well. Uh, so Advantage Auto Service for all your automotive repair needs and bike racks.